Let's take a look to our new device, Air Commander Entire. What you can see here is the usual setup for drone photography. This is an Air Commander V2, which is basically data link with a range of approximately 1 km. From the receiver, the commands are forwarded to the Air Commander Entire, which actually controls the camera. An Air Commander Entire can control camera over the USB port, Wi Fi, or LAN connection. Camera here is a Nikon D850 and can be controlled only via the USB connection. Let's begin. Just turn the camera on and wait for the connection of the entire to the camera. Once the green light is on, we are ready to go. The only necessity is one press of the live view button on the camera body. The live view button will show us the overlay with all exposure parameters. It's not currently shown. But if you will make any change in exposure, you will get all information in the HDMI output. Let's change the aperture. As you can see the aperture is changing. And we got in preview with current parameters. You can also change the shutter speed. And of course, ISO. A great feature is a manual focus control. You can zoom up into the live view, by the zoom button to see the precision of the current focus. Here you can manually rack the focus far, or close. This is a precision speed. Or you can a faster focusing for a raw setting. Now you can simply take a photo, and all will be saved in the camera memory card. You can also trigger the autofocus, better with zoom in, to see the accuracy. Trigger the autofocus. And you can see, that it is not as precise as manual racking. You can. Of course, tune the autofocus up and take a photo. This is it. Air Commander Entire, 1 km of the range, Nikon D850.